afternoon and good evening, brothers and sisters all over the world. Kakas and dadas, dadas and kakas all over the world. Whichever time of the day this message finds you. All right, everybody, I'm back. For those of you who are new, the name of this channel is The African Times. And I'm Thomas. Okay, everybody, I had to jump in today, come in and, and greet you. Uh, we have some very important issues. Today is a, a historic day uh, because it's a part of a, a historic time. This is a very important time for us. And for those of you who are new, this channel is dedicated and committed to bringing to light issues that affect people that look like you and me. Those issues affect you and me, um, but they also affect others, others who don't look like you and me. But as I said, the issues here will be looked at from an African perspective. From a black African perspective, from all over the world, whether you live in the United States, born and raised, a black African person living there, or you're a black African person living on the motherland on the continent of Africa, which I am right now, or you live in other parts of the world, whether that's South or Central America, Brazil, where Argentina. Mexico, whether you're a black African living in the Caribbean, the Caribbean islands, wherever you are all over the world, Europe, wherever you are all over the world, Asia, if you're a black African person, then you'll hear messages that relate to you about issues in the world that relate to you. And this time, as I stated, a few moments ago, it's a historic time. It's a very important time. It's a time where we have living history taking place. And in this message today, we're going to talk about that living history. We're going to talk about what it means to you today, what it means to all of us and our children and their future. I can't overstate the importance of this time. This is a state of emergency for black people all over the world. Let me say that again. This is a state of emergency. You hear leaders of these various nations go around and they have periodically, maybe once a year, something they call the state of the union. Well, you can look at this as somewhat a state of the union. A state of the condition facing black people, people that look like you and me, that condition currently is unsettled. We have individuals who have taken their rightful place as leaders of the black African world and stepped into that role. Some would say those individual individuals who stepped in that into that role, they didn't just step into it, but they were called into it. Fate, the Almighty, placed them in that role, as happens for many of us throughout our lives, throughout this journey. Many of the things that we do, uh, we had no control over their, their happening, and we found ourselves in a circumstance. So I'm talking about an individual who finds himself in a circumstance right now. Our good brother, Grandmaster Jay. He is known by many as Grandmaster Jay. His actual name is Dr. John Fitzgerald Johnson. I've talked to many of you, of you about him before, so I'm gonna play a little video to give you an idea <clears throat> of who he is and why it is a state of emergency. The brother uh, who has committed his life to uh, serving people that look like you and me all over the world and has uh, rose up and become a world leader and placed and dedicated his life to that task of helping 
us in the situation that we're in, this emergency situation that I'm talking to you about. Well, <clears throat> his current situation requires our assistance. Uh, so I've talked to many of you about it, and maybe I've directed you to some of the, the sites that you could visit to learn more information about Dr. Johnson, Dr. John F. Johnson. But I'm going to play a video now uh, coming from our good sister, K Money, that will help you get a better understanding of who this great man is, what great service he provided for the people, and what great service now we should provide to support him. So let me play the video. Hold on. Hey, turn that bitch up, Glory. I done made it through the storm, I made it through the rain, yeah Always stay 100, I ain't never changed And I be off the pills just to ease the pain I'm just stocking up these bills, never switching lanes And my niggas with the shits, we ain't playing games, no Traumatized, mama crying, bodies dropping left and right Ain't no playing in these streets, you could really lose your life Bro got locked, he facing life, his only option is to fight I pray to God he see the lights, he'll fight them demons in the night Told him to be strong and everything gon' be alright Move my family out the hood, I'm tryna live a better life Hungry days and sleepless nights, they got me, but it's alright Can't give up now, I gotta fight, what's in the darkness come to light? They actin' like they down, but they ain't really about that life They wanna see me down or in a cell doing life But I'ma make it through the struggle and I put that on my life I put that on my life I just want the block, you could keep the fame Look me in my eyes, you can see the pain Since my brothers got locked, shit ain't been the same I done made it through the storm, I made it through the rain, yeah Always stay 100, I ain't never changed You might be off the pills, just to ease the pain I'm just stacking up these bills, never switching lanes And my niggas with the shits, we ain't playing games, huh? Fuck, fuck, fuck the fame, I won't change I'm just trying to see the guap Niggas fake and they hate, wanna see me in a box On the gang, I'ma ride Till my niggas hit the top Drop top when I ride, so the bitches see me shine I been getting to the cheese, cause that money on my mind I be screaming free the bros, cause they still doing time I done been through it all, I put my life on the line Do whatever for the fam, cause I know we gotta eat Can't be running around broke with my name in the streets I done came up from the bottom, it didn't turn me to a beast I'm a beast in the booth, I be spitting straight heat Engineer told me chill, cause the booth up in flames I be talking to the streets, cause I know they can relate If you disrespect the guys, you gon' catch one to the face All them hollows in that gun, take you right out your frame And my hands steady itching, I ain't playing no game I just want the guap, you can keep the fame Look me in my eyes, you can see the pain Since my brothers got locked, shit ain't been the same I done made it through the storm, I made it through the rain, yeah Always stay 100, I ain't never changed And I be off the pills, just to ease the pain I'm just stacking up these bills, never switching lanes And my niggas with the shits, we ain't playing games, no you saw in the video and again thanks to our good sister K Money <clears throat> K Money Spoken Words go look at our video channel K Money Spoken Words go look at the, the YouTube channel so that you can get all the updated information and go to the website this is extremely important this is extremely important we have living with us today an individual who has made world changes along with all of the wonderful and courageous people who have supported him. In fact, those good brothers and sisters and the entire coalition around the world who together have worked to protect and serve people that look like you and me, people, our children, 
our children's children? Well, when a group of people, and again, Grandmaster J, Dr. John Fitzgerald Johnson, represents a coalition of people who understand the situation that we're facing and who have dedicated and committed their lives to helping us get out of this situation. When you have that kind of commitment from people who have given who are giving all that a human being can give, then you have to thank and support those people. And that's what I'm asking you for now. In the letter writer campaign, and I'm gonna send another video out, it's coming. I'm gonna show you how to write the letters. I'm going to write one, you write one. This doesn't require a great deal of courage, some courage, but not the courage these heroes show to protect us. So if you are one of the people who is afraid, afraid to write a letter, you need to tuck the fear behind you, copy the letter that you see as a template, an example, and send it. There's no need for fear. You're not walking down the street. No one's asking you to pick up a weapon. You're simply placing on paper your support for this great man and what he stands for, which is the protection, the economic protection, the economic development for people that look like you and me and our children and our prosperity and all of the great men and women of MFAC and the coalition all over the world who understand what's at stake and who have come forward to support us. So I'm asking you, please help support our brother, Grandmaster Jay, and request his compassionate release so that he can get the proper care that he deserves that is necessary for the maintenance of his good health. And again, now this is for the men. This is men. You carry the title of a man. I see them. The chats for different movies, videos, music videos. Many people take the time out to comment about entertainment issues, the latest gossip taking place with these celebrities. I'm asking you. Use your, your, your humanity, your manhood. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Stand up. And take that same energy that you would use to write comments about these irrelevant issues that have no bearing on the safety and security of our people and our lives and use that energy to help support and protect and ask for the release, compassionate release for our brother 
who has given all of himself for you, your family, your children, and our future generations. A man like that, willing to do that, at the least deserves our support. So again, I want to thank you. I want, I want to tell you that we, all of us who understand the importance of, of the times that we're in, understand a great man this, of his stature, Dr. John F. Johnson, Need your help. Support him. If you can write the letter, write it. If not, use the template and send it. You have nothing to fear. Support the brother. All right, everybody. Listen, got a chance to talk to you. I can't wait. We have a very important live coming up. It's going to be really the first live uh, official live that I've done. Please tune in. You need to see these brothers and sisters who are going to be talking to you and you can ask questions. Okay? That's coming soon. All right. Very soon, actually. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's good talking to you. Uh, I love you all. Just as this brother. And all of the good people, at, in fact, in the coalition all around the world, they love their people. And that's why they do the things they do. Okay? I right, love you all. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Uhuru. Uhuru. <laughs>